hello everyone today i'm going to show you how to generate a pdf file in php so first of all you need to download something called uh, fpdf library so go to fpdf.org um, website and click on downloads so most of the guys will use the fpdf library to generate a pdf some of them will use mpdf but i suggest fpdf uh, because it's very simple and very lightweighted so uh, so click on this zip folder uh, click on latest versions so once you download it you will see something like a zip folder here and when you extract uh, you will see these files so docs fonts make fonts so these are all necessary the one we want is this fpdf file so this is the file which you want to import into a uh, working director or working php file so here is my working php file uh, i have index.php here so here is my index.php and and this is the file so wait so this is my fpdf library which we have downloaded now so i'm going to my index.php so the very first basic thing is um, you need to import that the fpdf class which we have downloaded now so so i think require um so so the path to the uh, fpdf so php file sorry fpdf file so this is the fpdf file which we want to import and it's in your fpdf directory so f pdf slash so we have imported our class and you need to create an instance for the class so maybe call it as pdf and you know so the thing is we have just created your instance or object for f pdf class now you can use this object to create pdfs to generate fonts to generate images everything so everything is uh, up to this uh, i mean up to this object we're just going to import particular functions of your pdf class so most of the time uh, you guys don't know what are the different types of functions available so i'm going to generate a function uh, to display what are the different types of methods available in your pdf so that's pretty simple um, get get class methods this function uh, will retrieve all the functions available in that fpdf class and since it will return an array i'm going to dump it so so this is just a demonstration i mean this is just a understanding purpose so you don't need to write these things in your code so go to your browser and execute your php file so these are the functions available in fpdf class so the library we have downloaded now has these following functions so we have fpdf constructor set margin set left margins and set title uh, still there are add page so which which is very important and we have cell link text so have a look at it and you will you will get a basic understanding of how to create pdf so right now don't worry about this and so we're just going to use the functions to create pdf so the very first function is uh, add page this function will add a page maybe a single page and the second basic function is you, you just need to output that file so this uh, this second function here will output a pdf file to browser and if you want to save it to your uh, directory you can just save a uh, file name here and it will save the particular pdf file as the name specified so right now i'm not saving it i'm just directly displaying to browser so when i execute this file it will just display a blank pdf page so because we're just adding page we're just outputting it but we're not displaying any content we're not printing any content so that's the reason why it will display blank php sorry pdf file so here we go we have a blank pdf file without any content so so within equipment i'm going to add content to it so before adding content um, you may want to a set font style font with uh, some basic things so you can set those basic things by calling function or uh, set font uh, so this function will add font style font family something the first parameter is font family and the second parameter is font style maybe bold italic or else maybe underline something like that and if you left it blank it will it will display the text without any font style and this third parameter is font um, font size 
so the set font method accepts three parameters uh, the first one is font family and the second one is font style let's say bold b for bold and i for italic u for underline and the port the, sorry the third parameter is font size so that's the way how you set font and the final thing is you just want to display content so you can do this by uh, using cell function and uh, you may want to specify width and height and the third parameter is as usual string so the string i mean the content which you want to display so for example my my, my pdf page so this is the content which i want to display so when i run this code or uh, it will display data with my pdf page yeah so here we go we have displayed content successfully and so still there are a lot of uh, parameters for the cell function the cell function has a lot of parameters and fourth parameter is uh, the border so it will display a quick border here so this is the border so basically uh, so here we have two parameters the first function width and height so when you specify width as zero it will occupy entire content from left to right uh, if you want to reduce the width you can uh, just specify 30 so it will reduce the width so it's, it's 30 unit now and if you want to uh, fit to it you can just use 50 something like that yeah it just fitted but so most of the time uh, some of the guys will use zero as parameters because so no matter how much the content is it will just uh, fill out the entire space from left to right so that's the use of zero width and height as usual 10 20 30 maybe uh, whatever the number you want so this is the border here so that's the use of border and the next parameters uh, this so that's the thing uh, it's very tricky part uh, i will explain it later and just stick to one now and i will explain it later in a second don't worry and the second parameter is alignment uh, alignment may be center right left something like that i'm going to align it as center by specifying c and it will align to center now so here we go so we have a uh, page title here fpdf page and I'm going to display underline here. Maybe on uh, second line. So it will display a second line. So, so as I said before, uh, this parameter here I directly specified as one. I didn't say to you what is it, what it is exactly. So if I say it as zero, so here we go. That's a that's a tricky part. So if you specify the, the parameter as zero, it will just append to the previous line. And if you specify it as one, which means a new line. If you want to display it in a new line, I mean the next content in new line, you want to specify it as one. And if you want to specify, and if you want to uh, display it in a same line, you can use zero. I don't know whether you are getting it or not. That's that's raw logic. That's pretty simple. So here we go. So now most of the time you may want to separate font style. I mean, uh, I mean second line need not necessarily to be bold, right? Yeah. So I'm going to set a separate font style for it. And maybe uh, just reduce font size to ten and leave it to default style second line yeah that's the spreading symbol right and if you want you can use italic i for italic so that's pretty cool right um you have generated two lines and the final thing is you're just going to add content to it um, as I said before, you don't want to follow the same font for each and every line. Uh, you can display with different fonts. So uh, right now I'm leaving it to Arial with uh, f default fonts style, and I'm going to say it as with yeah, let's say 20, not with the font size. 
<coughs> and instead of using a PDF or cell each and every time you can use write function to display content uh, if you have multiple lines in your content you can use write function here and the first parameter is uh, you're going to specify the height of the function so height of the data and second parameter is the content so this is some junk code here all right let's run this thing so here we go so that's not pretty cool but that's the way how you generate a pdf file now literally you can add images to it um, that's why pdf image i guess so now image function will uh, add image and this is the path of my image yeah so nice guy so that's the way how we add images to it and you can literally add uh, links uh, something tables so so if you want more stuff about you can go to fpdf.org uh, official site and go to tutorials so they have provided seven tutorials so that's very basic documentation so that's the way how we generate static content static pdf files so it's pretty simple guys you just need to follow that particular functions and you need to understand what the different types of parameters you need to pass that fu function so so this so that's it for today on the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to generate dynamic content maybe data from database and how to display dynamic content so that's it for today thanks for being stay tuned